So this is the cloned key. There you go. So we have here, we have our little, little RFID reader right there. And let's say we found this credential in a drawer. We found it in the office drawer. We can't take it with us because if it goes missing, people notice that it's not there. So what we can actually do is we can use the flipper. So this credential, we know it works. So if you want to open that up and we're going to go to 125 kilohertz RFID. Okay. And you're going to hit read. Okay. And you're going to hold this to the center back right here of that flipper. Okay. There you go. All so right. now it has that data and you're going to hit more. And then you see that emulate? Yep. So hit emulate. You can take this and then just hold the flipper up to the door. Right up a little higher. There you go. Cool. So that unlocks. So that's number one. All right. Uh, number two, if you hit the little back button on the side there All right. and you hit write, I have these which are rewritable RFID uh, key fobs. Mm. So this one right now has something else on it. Mm. And what you can do is you can hold that right up. There you go. Success. So success. And then if you want to try that out on there. So this is the cloned key. There you go. So now you have a copy of that key fob and you can put this back, the original back where you found it, and no one's any the wiser. This was really cool also because there was no cracking involved. I yeah. would, like you were able to basically just directly copy the key over yeah. and there was no like my fair back and forth. Anything. Yeah, so these are low frequency RFID. So these are pretty much never encrypted. Mm. So you know the, the flipper can very, very easily duplicate these. Some of the other uh, key fobs, higher frequency ones, are a little bit more involved, but the low frequency ones are easy.